Put your hands together for our next comic, y'all. Alexis Miranda. Yeah, this is the black girl portion of the show, y'all. I got a church fan. It's hot as hell in Vegas. How y'all doing? Hot. This is my church fan. Yeah. Send nudes. Yeah. Wear this one to church. Right, Mom? That's my mama right there in the front row. She just found out that you can hack uh, people's iCloud, so she spent 10 hours trying to download her shit the other day. Like, nigga, I got a ton of news in the cloud. Make it rain, bitches. <laughs> Make it rain. Throw this fan down. Vegas is hot. I'm from Texas. I should be used to this shit. But I'm not. I've been in L.A. for a long time. Long, long time. But I'm no you. Somebody said, mm, damn. L.A. gets a bad rep. Rightfully so. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah, um, I, I went back home during COVID, Okay which was a great reason to go back home to Texas. I've been gone for so long. I moved out of Texas to be a pop star, okay? Y'all see how that's turning out, y'all see? <laughs> to be a pop star. COVID was the perfect excuse to go back home, y'all. Because it wasn't like I failed, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, people saw me at the reunion, like, oh, Lexi's back. Yeah, COVID, COVID, bro. I was like, yeah, y'all. You know, that COVID shit, man, it's fucked up. That's why I'm back up in these streets. I didn't quit or nothing, like. Yeah. I'm glad I was, it was really dope to go back home, like to Texas, you know? I was missing like normal shit, you know what I'm saying? Like plastic straws, you know? Like, for real, LA trying to save the world with these fucking paper straws. You be, and them paper straws, how you like? I mean like, did I just suck a dick? This is, it's like. Like pubic hair in my mouth. Shit, how you like, fuck them dolphins. We don't need dolphins, do we? We don't need dolphins. <laughs> fuck the dolphins. My name is Alexis Miranda. Black woman with a Spanish last name. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, come on, it's nice, my nigga. Like, you know. Got range. Get to know me, got a little bit of range. Y'all, one of my hobbies, what I like to do is, one of my hobbies is I like to straighten my hair like bone straight, okay? Go undercover as an East Indian woman so I could befriend new white people. Catch them saying racist shit about black people, you know what I'm saying? Then out of nowhere, I pull out a spray bottle of water, shh, afro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be like, hey, yo, what you say about my people, Meredith? What we say? What you say? That's never happened. It's never happened. <laughs> Never caught white people saying racist shit. I mean, the closest I ever got to it, to be real with y'all, was like one time this white dude was like, oh, you're, you're a pretty black girl. You're so much prettier than Rihanna. And I, you know, I said, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate you. I'm going to take a compliment from when, whom, whomever. I don't care where it come from. I'm going to take a compliment. I'm cute as fuck now, but it wasn't always this way for me, y'all. I just got cute like three weeks ago. I swear to God. <laughs> Thank you. I'm on and being cute. They used to call me faux life. Faux life on the playground. <laughs> yeah, okay, y'all like, what the fuck is that? It's coming. I like suspense. I like to build the moment. Okay, y'all, my four top teeth had three big ass gaps in between them, okay? <laughs> and John Clavius Miller's bitch ass looked at me on the playground one day. And he was like, damn, girl, your teeth so far apart, your smile gonna look like this. Full life. <laughs> it's okay, it's clever. Back then, then when we now I'm hot, they all on me, ain't tripping. I found them on TikTok dancing from prison years later. <laughs> I was like, bro, you might wanna hide that cell phone, that's contraband, <laughs> or you might be in prison. Full life. Hola, John Clavius. His name is steamed into my memory. It will never leave. I'm petty. <laughs> I hold on to stuff. One just that, y'all. Like, I have a very defined, like, face, okay? Like, defined jawline. Okay, people come up to me now. Oh, you should model your jawline so beautiful and defined. But y'all, second graders don't give a shit about a defined jawline. You know what I'm saying? They just like, bitch, you look weird. <laughs> 
John Clavius was like, you got a Disney print chin, like. <laughs> As an adult, y'all, it's cool now. Like, I've healed, okay? I moved past my trauma. I did, like, for real. But you know what? Hey, I want to say this. I ain't got nothing against the T and LGBT. I ain't got nothing against none of them letters, none of them. Put that on record. But with this whole, with the, with the T movement, the trans movement, I ain't got nothing against it. But what I'm saying is with these transitions out in these streets, there's a lot of heterosexual males. They hella suspicious. And with a jawline like this, I'm a prime suspect, you know? <laughs> like, for real. I went from exotic to handsome overnight. Like, it was... I have trans friends, they don't like that joke. I'm like, bitch, this is my pain. It's not all about you. It's not all, it's just like, I don't like when you say that we're handsome. Like, bitch, they said I was handsome. Fuck what you talking about, I'm talking about my pain. Anyway. I'm so happy to be around this many people. I just, I wasn't sure if this was gonna happen. Again, y'all, for real, I was protesting just so I could be around people. <laughs> I was, for real, y'all. I was in a big protest in L.A., the shit where stuff was going up in flames. And I didn't even know who died, like, the first two days. I really didn't, like, because I, I don't watch the news, you know, because I like to be happy. Um, I don't watch the news. I ain't know who died. For real, thank you. I was like, George Foreman died? Goddamn, are you serious? That nigga was grilling too much. Heart attack? Okay. I was in them streets, marching, didn't know who died. I was just like, people! No, but for real, y'all know, I protested. The first one was on accident, okay? I was on my way to Whole Foods, I swear to God. <laughs> I made a left. I saw LAPD in full SWAT gear, okay? Against a very formidable opponent. opponent. It was a wall of white children, okay? I stood my ass behind that wall of white children. I was like, Psst, what we doing? Meredith, why we out here? What's going, what's going on? Meredith, she was like, Black Lives Matter. I was like, why, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you. The police was like, get out the street. Her homie Dylan was like, hell no. We won't fucking go. They pulled out them batons. I was like, hell yes, do say less. I'm out here, y'all. Y'all be blessed, Meredith and Dylan. <laughs> y'all be, be blessed. But before I could get out of there, y'all, they beat the shit out of them white kids in front of me. They beat the shit out of all them white kids in front of me, and I have it on my Instagram, y'all. You can check the video out. You will see white kids just falling to the ground all around me, and I'm in the middle. I don't know what to do. I'm just like, Meredith Dillon, Chad Chipsville, ah, shit. Like, I don't know what to fucking do. But this is kind of cool, but no, it's not. What the fuck? I just never thought I would see anything like that. The shit was crazy. And then I locked eyes with this one police officer. And he looked at me, I had, but I had a little dot in the middle of my forehead. I had long braids, you know what I'm saying? I had long braids, so he was like, man, this Vashti bitch lost. <laughs> Vashti, she lost, she ain't supposed to be here. He let me go. It's all on video. Cops just let me scoot on out of there, beat the shit out of all them white kids around me. <laughs> yep, for a true story. I'm not trying to bring them back down, just trying to report the truth on the streets, you know? For real, watch all them get their ass beat. I strolled over to my favorite taco spot, Sky's Tacos. I was like, I'm hungry, okay? Because Whole Foods closed early. They boarded that shit up because just like the people that shop there, they some bitches. So I had to find something else to eat. Went to Sky's Tacos. They spray painting. They painting on the shit Black Lives Matter. I'm like, again, thank you. But this is my favorite taco spot. Y'all know this shit is wrong. Y'all better take y'all ass over there to that CVS. That's a corporation. And spray all lives matter on that shit because they don't give a fuck about none of us. You know what I'm saying? And they took their ass over there to that CVS. Basically, I'm incriminating myself right now, okay? <laughs> they, took, they went over to that CVS and the shit went up in flames in front of me. For real, my dad's watching this, he going crazy. He's like, babe, get out of there, like this shit is crazy. I'm like, no, dad, I'm leading the siege on CVS. <laughs> like, can't go home. Finally doing something with my life, dad, they listening to me, I'm a leader, I'm doing shit. <laughs> and that's when I went home for COVID. <laughs> And that's when I went home. That's when I took my ass home. Yeah, um, I saw a lot of people with their families in quarantine and doing all this shit, you know, doing all this stuff, being productive and things like that. I didn't do shit either. Uh, 
you know, I spent a lot of time with myself, you know. I saw people spending time with their families and their kids, and it's like, yeah, I don't have those because I'm smart. So, um, <laughs> a lot of people had quarantine babies that they didn't want. Like, they had to have them. <laughs> Every time somebody told me about a baby they did not want, I was like, you know, we don't have, okay. You, you pro-life, got it. I, I'm with it, right? You believe life starts at conception. God. Well, if life starts at conception, I've murdered at least 32 people. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying I had 32 abortions. What I'm saying is I've definitely swallowed about 30 Plan B pills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I have, like I love Plan B. My little $50 heroes, like just be coming through at the last minute, saving your life, your quarantine. Don't do that. Y'all know y'all be on that plan B. <laughs> For real. I had a little accident in quarantine. The dude freaked out. I'm like, chill, baby. $50 heroes in the nightstand. Okay, we good. Like, you ain't crazy. He was like, all right, you know, take that shit right now. I'm like, take it right now? Um, no, sir. We have 72 hours for you to cream pot. Uh, this, okay. We're not going to get that vulgar. What I'm saying is I put plan B to good use, okay? Good use. I don't waste nothing. Nothing. Yes, yes, yes. So now you know uh, I'm Alexis Miranda, the murderer. You guys were... Uh, you guys have been a really great crowd. Thank you so much.